Have you ever taken a huge risk that's altered the course of your life forever? We don't always like to take risks because deep down, we know that rejection and disappointment is always a possibility. Well, in Mark's gospel, we read about a man who risked everything in hopes of something greater. This is what the word says. So Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. A man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean, he said. Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared and the man was healed. Wow, what makes this interaction so amazing is that this man is willing to risk literally everything to simply ask Jesus a question. This man needed a miracle and this was his moment. This was his opportunity and he was not going to waste it. The reality is that this man was no stranger to rejection. He was a leper. He was a walking billboard for social distancing way before COVID was ever a thing. He was viewed as an outcast, an embarrassment, a threat to public health and safety. You see, wherever this man journeyed, he was required by law to announce his presence by shouting unclean at the top of his lungs, just to warn others to keep their distance. This was the reality that made this man's encounter with Jesus all the more incredible. Society viewed this man as a dead man walking, but when he locked eyes with Jesus, he saw the potential for new life. If you are willing, he says in verse 40, you can make me clean. What an interesting way to phrase that question. If you are willing. You see, sometimes we ask the same question because we struggle to see God as both a God of power and a God of mercy. We make excuses. Well, if, if you only knew my past, if you knew about all those terrible things I've done, then you'd see that there's no way God could ever love me, let alone forgive me. Well, friends, here's the beautiful truth. God does know your past, but more importantly, he also knows your present and he knows your future. He sees what's possible and he loves you through it all. Jesus did not come to this earth in search of perfect people. In fact, Jesus himself says in Mark chapter 2, verse 17, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. And then again in the temple in Luke chapter 4, Jesus says, I have come to proclaim good news to the poor, proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. You see, Jesus is willing. And here's the best part of it all. Jesus doesn't simply pronounce hope over us, but he embodies the greatest hope of all by canceling the power of sin and death. He became unclean for us so that we could be cleansed of all our unrighteousness. If we're being honest, we can all identify with the leper in this story because we've lived this experience. We've lived it in our times of loneliness, regret, shame, and fear. Maybe you're there right now, but just like the confident hope that the leper had to be seen and healed, we also have hope. Can God really use your situation for his glory? Absolutely. Jesus looks on you with love and he says, I am willing. For those who you've hurt, he is willing. In spite of the lies you've told, the bridges you've burned, the habits you've formed, and the idols you've made, he is willing. God knows you. He sees you. And he loves you. And because of this, you have hope. May you find the healing you need this day in the outstretched arms of our Savior. God bless you.